So Kieran, a convincing win over Blackheath last week, 29-5 at home. How pleased were you with that performance? Yeah, really pleased. Um, you know, the, the first half was very good. Um, you know, bonus points sold up by half time. Um, you know, the second half didn't you know, couldn't quite get a foothold in it. Um, you know, fair play to the Blackheath, they retained the ball very well. You know, they um, started running it from everywhere because it affected the, the game. The game was over as a contest. Um, you know, after Dean scored that intercept at the start of the second half, it, you know, it was, it was kind of game over then. Um, yeah, you know, we spoke you know immediately afterwards and, and during this week. You know, about our mindset. You know, if, if you compare us to teams that have you know, won the league in the past few years or, or championship size in general, you know, if they're 24 0 up at half time, they go on to win 50 or 60 points, you know, and that's that's the bit we've got to, you know, we've got to look at. Dude, we said we want to come out early, get some points on the board, score first. First half to be up by such a convincing scoreline, then second half it was just unfortunate we couldn't get back on the front foot and we, lost, we didn't really have a lot of ball in the second half, so that's a bit frustrating, but we saw the win out in the end, so that was all. I think we're definitely more pleased with the first half and the second half, but overall, I, I, I think the boys will. You can see from like the reactions after the game. Definitely, I think we were probably one of the best games that we played in the first half for sure. So yeah, it was good. You yourself received Man of the Match award in that game. What did that mean to you? It means a lot. I think it's my first one I've got this year, so it's it's not like it's not something you expect. So to hear your name come over the tunnel, like it, it is quite nice. But obviously, like it's it's not just one player that makes it so no, I'm happy to receive it but I think the boys played outstanding and we've got Rosslyn Park visiting this Saturday in a rescheduled match after the snow meant that the visitors couldn't travel yeah. back in March and um, last time we played them we needed a last minute try to get the 26 all draw what are we expecting from Rosslyn Park this Saturday it was, a, it was a frustrating game up there up on the on the 4G but we back ourselves at home so we're going to go out there stick to our own system stick to our own game plan and we'll just take it to them I think we know they're the tough team from what we played at their place, but a different kind of ground they play on the 4G. This is grass, and I think we all know what this pitch can be like if it's a little bit muddy. So I, we know they're going to bring a tough team, good forward pack, and they like to play running rugby, which is similar to us, so it'd be a good battle. And there's been some talk in the press about teams unwilling to fulfil these rearranged fixtures when they have no bearing on promotional relegation mm. in the league. What's your view on that? I, I can understand it, you know, from, from a costing point of view. Um, you know, Estimated, you know, I'd imagine it's going to cost cost Roslyn Park, you know, a couple of grand in terms of players' fees and train and travel, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I can see why they wouldn't want to play it. It's, it's one of those things, you know. We're not we're not focused too much on it, you know. As far as we're concerned, the game's going ahead. We have to prepare accordingly and and and, and you know, do everything we can to win. More so for the fans, there. I think guys with season tickets, like they pay to see X amount of games of rugby. So we need to fulfil it, and obviously for the club as well for the income and stuff, right? We, we want to play rugby week in, week out, so it's, we look we do look forward to playing them. I think they should be played. And you yourself are celebrating your 50th appearance for Plymouth Albion. You've been here for a couple of years since your move from Brixham. What does it mean to you to celebrate that, that 50th game? It's a really great honour to get to 50, 50 caps. I've only been here a couple of seasons, but getting 50 appearances for the team I supported as a, as a, as a child, being a Plymouth lad, it's really, really proud to get to 50.